I'm Tiger Height, and I'm here to make NWA Power and Pro Wrestling Majestic again. Eh, it was fine. These Return to the Robards shows, they're just getting worse and worse. And I understand that they did a bunch of TV tapings, but come on. This was just not great. It was fine. It just wasn't great. So our first match was Joe Alonzo taking on Alex Misery. So Alex Misery is a second generation wrestler. I think the I think his dad wrestled for TNA, but I I swear to God, I heard it a few times, and I still do not know who that guy is. If anybody has any actual clue, let me know in the comments. And you know Joe Alonzo is always going to have at least a fun match. I really like Joe Alonzo. And he won with the full Nelson Bulldog. I actually kind of like the move. You know, it was fairly straightforward. Opening match, no bones about it. I thought it was okay. Orange Cassidy, thumbs up. So this triple threat match was to determine the number one contender for the NWA television champion. We have Anthony Quintana, Storm Thomas, and Magic Mike Dumas. And really the one here that is consistent within NWA is Dumas. So obviously he won. And here's what I like about this is that Magic Inc. are a really solid tag team. And I'm surprised they're not going for the tag team champions. But this is also going to showcase at the very least with Dumas, his singles push, because he won here. It was Abracadaver for the win, and I liked the match. Kind of wish I knew the other two guys and maybe have more established guys within NWA having a number one contenders match, but this is kind of where we are. Orange Cassidy, thumbs up. Why not? So this was a tribute to Austin Idol. So Bobby Fulton came out, then it was Austin Idol, then it was William Patrick Corrigan and Eddie Graham's granddaughter. I do not remember her name whatsoever. I watched the show on Tuesday, and I meant to do the show on Wednesday, but I saw family in town, so there you go. And you know, the Austin Idol, he was being a bitch. It was fine. Just felt kind of lazy, but here's the thing. Austin Idol is a legend. He has been in this business for, I think, like 50 years. It's crazy. He was the inaugural NWA national champion when the NWA had that. Just so you know how long this guy has been in the business. And here's the thing. Austin Idol can still cut good promo. And he is a name within the world of wrestling here in America. So I'll give this an Orange Cassidy thumbs down. I believe it was the national champion. Somebody let me know. I, I think I got that one right. So up next is for the NWA World Tag Team Champion. We have Blunt Force Trauma taking on the Fixers. Why the Fixers? That's a fairly good question. I have no idea. But Blunt Force Trauma won with a drop kick. Like, I mean, it was a good drop kick, don't get me wrong, but a drop kick. Now, I could understand if it was maybe a drop kick to like the side of the head or maybe a modification, but no, this is day one wrestling school standard drop kick. Mm, it was fine. Uh, the main event was probably the weakest. It was Orange Cassidy thumbs up, and that's being nice. And that was Power. Let me know you thought about not only my review, but Power in the description or in the comments below anyway. Uh, subscribe to the channel, become a patron, get hats, and all of that great stuff will be in the bio or in the description. And as always, be majestic.